Hi, in this video we're being asked to find out the value of x and show that x is a square number. And the information we've been given is we've got a trapezium, we know the area and we know this dimension, this dimension and this one. Okay, so there's a couple of ways in which we can do this. Um, the way I think would be better is perhaps to actually use the formula for the area of a trapezium. Okay, so what I would write is area equals a half a plus b times h. Okay, what you could do, I think, is you could cut it up into compound shapes. So you could actually say that uh, I'll create a, a rectangle here and a triangle here and then add the two together. And you probably would achieve the same sort of thing. But I think at this sort of level, it is better for you to know the formula and use the formula. Okay, so we've got the area is 42, which is great. We've got a half, okay, and then A is this dimension along here, and B is this dimension. So we've got A plus B, so we've got X plus 5 plus X plus 8, okay. H is the height, which is X. Okay, and really what we're going to do is solve for X, find out the value of X in this particular equation. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the brackets together. So I've got 42 equals, or add the terms in the brackets, that's going to be 2x plus 13. Okay, 13 bothers me a little bit because a half of 2x is x, which is great, but a half of 13 is 6.5, which isn't, isn't fantastic as a number, but we'll see where we end up with this. I've still got x at the end there. Okay, so if I now multiply by a half, I'm going to get a half times 2x, which is x, and a half times 13, which is going to be plus 6.5. Now again, bearing in that, multiplied by x. So it's not looking great at this point, but I think I'm just going to carry on and see where we end up. Okay, so I've got 42. And then I'm going to multiply this side by the x. So I'm going to get x squared plus 6.5x. And what I need to do now is to um, manipulate this to create uh, a quadratic equation that I can solve. And also make sure that it's equal to 0. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring this 42 over to the other side. And I'm going to get 0 equals x squared plus 6.5x minus 42. Okay, right. Um, 6.5x, as I mentioned before, isn't great to deal with. So what I'm going to do is multiply through by 2. Because if I multiply through by 2, I'm going to get 2x squared plus 13x minus 84. And while that's not great, I do know that's something I can, I can use either the quadratic formula for or I can solve using um, a different method. So I think at this point, you could go ahead and use the quadratic if you wanted to. Um, what I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to say, well, I, I think I can solve this by using a different method, which is where I say two times minus 84 is going to be minus 168, okay? And what I'm looking for is two numbers that when I multiply them together make 168, and when I add them together will give me plus 13. Now it's a little bit of trial and error on this but it is a number that you can work with and what hopefully you should end up with is plus 21 and minus 8. Okay, that 21 and 8 multiplied together make 168 and the difference between plus 21 and minus 8, which is going to give me my minus, is going to be plus 13. Okay, so now I can rewrite this equation, and I can rewrite it in the form of 2x squared, and rather than writing 13x, I'm going to write minus 8x plus 21x minus 84. Okay, now this bit in the middle will make plus 13. So I haven't actually changed anything, but this particular method allows me then to factorize the first two terms and factorize the second two terms, and hopefully I should come up with a common factor. Hopefully you'll see what I mean in a minute. So if I look at 2x squared minus 8x, I can factorize that for 2x, and what I get is x minus 4. 
Okay. If I look at the second two terms, which are these two terms here, I can factorise that for plus 21 and I get x minus 4 again. Okay, so because I have those two common factors, what I can do now is I can bring them together and I can write this as two bracketed terms of 2x plus 21 multiplied by x minus 4. Don't forget that equals 0. So now at long last I've got my two factors, I've got my two values of x. My first value of x is going to be, um, if I imagine that I've got 2x plus 21 equals 0, then that means I've got minus 21 equals 2x, so therefore x equals minus 21 over 2, minus 21 over 2. If I look at the second, I've got x minus 4 equals 0, so therefore x equals 4. Okay, right, well how do we know that it's a square number? Well, the only value of x here is going to be x equals 4 because it's a square number, but more importantly than that, it's a number that exists. This is a positive number, this one is a negative number which doesn't exist. So if I go back to my actual uh, trapezium, this value here has to be a value of 4, it can't be a value of minus 21 over 2 or minus 10 and a half because that is just something that we use to make um, calculations a little bit easier. So in this particular question, the value of x equals 4. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always uh, come back to you. Have a look at uh, some of the other videos on the channel and follow some of the playlists and they'll give you some more examples of these sorts of questions. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.